Module 2, Sound with Dr. Bill. Hi there. In this chapter, now that we have discovered that we can describe music in terms of three S, sound, the setting in which the music is set, and the significance that music has for the people listening or participating in it. This chapter, we will concentrate more on the sound aspect of music. So in describing sounds, we can use the scientific terms, such as the screen you are seeing right now, the amplitude of the sound. If it's smaller, shorter, then the sound will be quieter, such as this. And if the amplitude is higher, the sound will be louder. And then in scientific term, we can also talk about frequency, which is the number of waves in a set amount of time. If there are more waves, which is the higher pitch on the right, we're talking about sounds such as this one, higher on the piano, or in the left side, the lower pitches would sound. And the wave form frequency will be less. Aside from that, we can also describe sounds in terms of the sound source, which most of the time in our Western world we consider instruments. So there are many types of instruments and you will learn vocabularies to describe, such as the rattling of a sound. This instrument is made out of a cabalash, which is a gourd, dried up, and then beads vary, but this one in particular has um, seashells on it. Instruments can also come in the shape of bronze instrument and wood or bamboo instruments. This is of um, Kenya. And of course, nowadays we have plastics for instruments. Here's another form of wood instruments with strings strung along. You will also learn vocabulary about describing how the strings are being plucked or strum in order to produce the sound. This is strumming. Here's another example of an instrument which is made out of a gourd but yet uses lamels made of metal. This is a thumb piano found in many countries in Africa. And of course, the drums of many different shapes and forms. Most drums now have not skin, but plastics of different kinds. And then again, we can tap, scrape, and do all kinds of different sounds. So those are prescriptive words to use regarding sound source. Aside that, if we take just a voice, uh, in some countries, a raspy low voice is considered a beautiful voice, such as this one. Or in China, opera, they prefer a thin, very high pitched voice. And then in the Balkans, in Bulgaria in particular, women often ch sing straight from the chest. So this is the chest voice from a Bulgarian women's choir. And of course there is the head voice developed to be very, very loud from a Western European tradition called opera. Overall, there are many ways to classify sound in terms of pitches, high or low, in terms of volume, loud or soft, in terms of the instruments they come from, 
in terms of duration of the sound and each country or each culture all over the world have their own ways of classifying the pitches, the durations, and the overall shape of the piece of music or song. And aside those systems of classifications of pitches, duration, or form, we also just learned about sound sources, instruments, what material they're made of, and the quality of the sounds as exampled in the voice.